Okay, friends, it is. Tell them, Benjamin. Say, what time is it? Say, it is super mega Walmart grocery pickup order haul time. We'll see how long Mr. Benjamin hangs out. Uh-huh. Oh, you're seeming awfully jumpy. This is a $788 haul. Uh, we had, of course, my famous J. Morrell best laid plans. Yesterday, Naomi and I went to a local city. We were gonna do a big Costco run, do a sharp shopper run, do bank errands and all of that. Don't know if the vlog with that adventure is out yet or not. It ended up being President's Day and I couldn't get to the bank to do my big bank errands, which means uh, you know I need a big budget for Costco when I go in there. So I wasn't able to go to Costco. So we still went to Sharp Shopper, went to some thrift stores, had a good time, but I thought, man, can't go to Costco, and I really wanted to because I'm not gonna take another day out to do a Costco run. That was my try. So Walmart grocery ordering and pickup wins again. And I'm going to get in two full days of freezer cooking. It has been months since I've had like a solid day and I don't think I've had two dedicated days since like September or October. So I am excited to have tomorrow and the next day just sun up to sundown to do a whole bunch of freezer cooking because it's something I love to do and it's always super convenient. So this haul has a lot of what I need for those freezer meals. Of course, there's other things for breakfast and lunch and other dinners. Okay, I handed the baby off because he did not want to stand in here and listen to me talk about groceries. He said, I've already had too much of that in my life, mama. So with the fruits and vegetables, I did a small fill-in haul about a week ago. So we already have a lot of fruits and veggies. I know I have at least 10 pounds of apples already and I have 12 or so pounds of clementines. You know, we were definitely not totally bare before I did this huge haul, but I did need things to get those freezer meals done. And it has been four to five weeks since our last big like once a month mega haul. It's time to do it but just saying everything is not totally bare refrigerator and pantry wise. Back to the apples. So I got 10 pounds of red delicious. We got six pounds here of golden delicious. Two heads of cauliflower. I was really happy with these just really big spaghetti squashes and I have a video coming out about doing spaghetti squash in the instant pot and I'll have a post over on largefamilytable.com about that as well. So I got two of those. We have some broccoli. We got about 10 green peppers here. Four big bags of frozen broccoli, a bag of mixed vegetables, five things of cream cheese. We have five eight ounce packets of Kerrygold butter. I got these caramel dip for a fun treat for the kids. They like dipping apples in those. Come on down here. We got some mushrooms, green onions, celery, only five pounds of carrots because I think I have 10 pounds of carrots still. And I have half a bag of grapefruit. So it's kind of, a, I'm kind of filling in a little bit fruit and veggie wise. And I know um, probably in another two weeks we'll do another small haul to stock up there. Anyway, lots of bananas. I got 30 pounds of potatoes. So in my freezer cooking days, I'm going to, of course, this is all, you know, Jay Morrell's grand plan. I'm gonna do mashed potatoes in the Instant Pot and I'm going to do them for the freezer so that we'll have them later. I'm also gonna get those four pans of shepherd's pie done that I've only talked about in, I don't know, seven videos. That shepherd's pie for the freezer is still on my freezer cooking list to get done and get a vlog done. So that's what, what's happening with all the potatoes here. Also, I've got a head of cabbage, two big bags of corn. Oh, I caught an air fryer. It's a 5.6 quart air fryer, but it was the biggest one that I could see. I'll try not to make this into an air fryer video, but I wanna do corn on the cob in the air fryer and fried chicken. I wanna do all kinds of things in the air fryer. So I got an air fryer and I've been getting to know and loving my eight quart instant pot and my friend Ashley has a 14 quart uh, go wise electric pressure cooker and she has nine kids and uh, anyway hi Ashley so I asked her what brand which one she had she had said she had the go wise 14 quart that's what it ordered so those are gonna be two upcoming unboxing videos so those are just some more uh, exciting things happening in the the food universe here we got six bags of cereal remember family of ten 
So this is like a couple little fill-in breakfast. I'm getting ready to have three dedicated work days where um, you know the family won't see me much. I'm just gonna be working those full three days and Travis will run everything and he'll probably rely on those cereals some morning. So we got 30 pounds of chicken. I've got, now this is, I know, it's a lot of bacon, but see, whenever we do bacon and eggs in the morning, I'll use one, I'll use three pounds of bacon. So this is enough bacon for eight breakfast over the next four to five weeks. So we'll have bacon eight times. Got my coffee refill, oh, that's so important. Okay, so this big pile of meat here, it's about 30 pounds of the lean 97, let's see here. 93% lean, 7% fat, ground beef. The only real substitutions they had to do this time was where I ordered five pound packs of the lean ground beef. And so for some of them, they had to give me the two and a half pound pack. So they gave me two, two and a half pound packs to equal each five pound pack I ordered for a couple of them. So that's why there's more in these bags. And I thought, you know what? I'm just not gonna dig them out. You all don't mind. So then I got four cans of the peaches and four cans of the green beans. And again, I just get these as dinner side items. We got our standard 12 things of applesauce. I got one thing of spaghetti noodles. I'm not planning to do spaghetti necessarily, but that is one of my emergency meals because I'm a mom. Um, I was gonna do some baked macaroni for the freezer and these egg noodles. I have some recipes that we could have on top of those. I got a big thing of breadcrumbs because I'm gonna do a bunch of meatballs for the freezer. And yay, this time I ordered pepper jack and they gave me pepper jack. Last time I ordered pepper jack, they substituted it with, it was like a white sharp cheddar is what they substituted it with. And we don't really care for it. So now we have a bunch of white sharp cheddar that, uh, I don't know, maybe I could put it on some macaroni and cheese. You guys let me know what you think. But we all love pepper jack and Travis will do little cheese slices with those too. I got some sharp cheddar again to see if I can get the shepherd's pie for the freezer done. Some different flours because I was gonna do whole wheat biscuits and cornbread for the freezer because like you guys know, I do these recipe videos and I do these recipes over on the blog. It's part of what I do. And I have some really exciting large family freezer meal stuff coming out in the next few weeks. So if you haven't already, text the word freezer to 44222 so that you not only get my mega freezer meal planning pack straight to your email, you also get to be the first to know when all of my fun upcoming surprises are officially coming out. So if you haven't already, sign up for that, okay? So that you all can know what's happening. I got one pack of chocolate chips. I was gonna do cookie dough for the freezer. I got two egg boxes because I already have two in my black refrigerator. I got two things of almond milk, another stevia, and then over here, we've got five things of peanut butter, two things of jelly. Why did I only get two things of jelly? I must have had, I checked my pantry before I ordered, so I think I have some jelly already, but we were down to nothing but crunchy peanut butter. I got three things of garlic, and then I realized, oh wait, I have a big thing of garlic from Costco still, but these can go in the pantry until they're opened. Big thing of cinnamon. And then we have some onion powder and garlic powder. One thing of chicken broth. Um, got some soy sauce, just one thing of chilies. I'm gonna do white chicken chili for the freezer as a large family freezer meal too. Anyway, so just one can for there. Also, that's what the white corn is for. Basically, these are my beans for the white chicken chili right there. Butter beans, navy beans, northern beans. Got some pizza sauce because we're also gonna do pizza dough for the freezer. And then we got a whole lot of bread. I wanted to have some sub rolls so that when I do the meatballs, this would probably be, I don't know, one, maybe one or two dinners. So I'm just gonna throw those in the freezer because I thought we could do meatball subs at some point. It's 24 loaves of bread, but about a third of this will do peanut butter and jelly for the freezer. About another third, I'm gonna do cinnamon French toast for the freezer. You know, we don't do peanut butter jellies for the freezer every single month. We haven't done those in a couple months now, but they're always so convenient when we do them. Whenever we take the time to make seven or eight loaves and get those PB&Js in the freezer, there's always times that we need them between we run out to bowling, we run out to archery, we have homeschool group, we have field trips, we have life, you have life. So we got some sour cream, some country crock, 
And yeah, so there is an overview of the large family grocery haul for this month. So I feel like this is a shorter grocery haul than usual. Again, we came in at $7.88, and then two days ago, I also spent $1.53 at Sharp Shopper. And then in another two to three weeks, we will do another fill-in haul. We'll get more milk, we'll get more fruits and veggies when we need them. And uh, I'm gonna make a whole lot of freezer meals to have. It won't be that we have freezer meals every night for four to six weeks, like right after I had Benjamin. We just, we really relied on them. But they are super convenient to have at least three nights a week. So we're gonna get the freezer stocked back up and see how long we can stretch those for. And I guess that's it. I'm gonna go now. I feel a little tired. So I think I'm gonna get to bed at a decent time tonight so I can wake up tomorrow and put a lot of my energy into those two dedicated large family freezer cooking days. So be sure to be checking on my Instagram if you don't check there already and my Insta stories because I share a lot of real time stuff there too. And remember, text the word freezer to 44222 because I got surprises coming out for you. Bye-bye.